my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's Cook With Me, we are making a restaurant style meal at home. So uh, you may not know this, but many of you do. I have five beautiful children, so I have a wild family of seven. And going out to dinner can be very expensive. So we save it for uh, when we're on vacation or if it's a special event or occasion. We don't do it just out you know, willy-nilly all the time because um, I like to spend my money in other ways. So we do not um, go out to dinner very often. So with that said, I like to make restaurant style meals while at home. So that's what we're gonna be making today. Today we are making a delicious cracked chicken. That's what it's called. It's got a cream cheese and cheese base. Delicious, you bake it in the oven, super easy, and it will please everybody in your house. Uh, we're also making delicious smashed potatoes, and we are also making a side salad with homemade ranch dressing, which is to die for, my absolute favorite. Everybody in my house loves homemade ranch. So that's what we're gonna be making today. If your mouth is not salivating, I don't know what to tell you, mine sure is. So let's get into cooking. Okay, to get us started, we're going to get our oven preheating. So I'm turning this on to uh, 400 degrees. And now we're gonna work on our potatoes. Today I'm using these little potato trio, or terrific trio. I love these, my family loves the little potatoes. They cook quickly and they are delicious. So I am just adding a little bit of avocado oil. I love to use avocado oil because it doesn't smoke. And we're gonna give that a good stir. And then we're gonna cook these in the air fryer just to keep it quick and clean. You can see my kiddos left a liner in there appreciative that they're using them keeps it clean uh, but today we're not going to be using a liner because I want them to get a good fry all the way around and so I'm just going to spread these out in a single layer I'm going to add a little bit of salt you want to flavor the outside of your potatoes because you are going to be eating these with the skin on and then you're going to pop these into your air fryer and roast them at 400 degrees I roasted them for about 15 minutes, but you can check them to see if they're done sooner. Mine came out perfect. Next up, we're gonna work on our chicken. So this recipe calls for four chicken breasts, uh, three to four chicken breasts that you pound out to about a quarter of an inch thick. I am doubling the recipe since my family is large. If this is your first video, I do have five kiddos. There are seven of us in my family. So I try to make sure that there's enough food for everybody. Plus, I am trying to have leftovers for me to take um, to work every day. To pound out our chicken, I'm adding it into a gallon-sized Ziploc bag and I'm using a wooden rolling pin because I don't have a meat mallet. So this is how my mom used to do it when I was a kid. This is how I learned to do it. But if you do have a meat mallet, it is tremendously easier. I just don't have one myself. So I'm just gonna kinda use some uh, elbow grease, pound them out until they're a quarter of an inch thick, and then add them into a greased Pyrex. I just sprayed mine down with a little bit of Pam, and I repeated this process until all of my chicken was nice and thin and in my Pyrex dishes. Once we're done getting the chicken into the Pyrex, we're going to season our chicken. So I'm using some pink Himalayan salt. First, give it a nice good salting. Chicken's pretty bland. Also going to be seasoning with paprika and some black pepper. And again, I'm just going to repeat the process until all of our chicken is in the Pyrex, seasoned up and ready for the oven.
Next up, we're going to be making our cream cheese topping. To do this, we're using one eight ounce package of cream cheese along with one to two tablespoons of ranch seasoning. I went with one tablespoon. I didn't want it to be overly salty. I will say that my cream cheese was not softened enough, so this was a pain in the neck to get it nice and smooth, and I had a really hard time spreading it across my chicken. So in the future, if you make this recipe, try to let your cream cheese soften as much as you can. I ended up spreading it once it had softened in the oven. So spread that out evenly across your chicken, pop it into the oven, and you're going to bake this first round for 10 minutes and like I said once everything is nice and soft we'll be able to spread the cream cheese out a lot better I'm sorry I cooked it for 12 minutes because I had more chicken but the rest be called for 10 now we're gonna make our bacon so the bacon is going to go on top of our cracked chicken so I'm just using a recipe called for four uh, pieces of bacon so I'm using eight I'm gonna cook four at a time and you're going to be dicing this up to put on top of your chicken so you can dice it up beforehand and cook it that way or cook it this way like I am and dice it afterward that's up to you I'm just gonna go ahead and check my potatoes now they were ready to go so I'm spreading them out onto a greased sheet here this is just a sheet pan and I'm going to spread them out a little bit they were nice and warm I had let them sit for just a couple minutes so that I could touch them a little bit but they were still really warm and I'm going to be using this wine glass to just push down ever so gently to smash them so that they open and flatten and create kind of like a quarter size so this is really simple be gentle at the beginning until you figure out how much pressure you actually need to push they'll give you a little bit of a pop they're super easy to smush down like this and you're just going to repeat this process until all of your potatoes have been smashed Once all my potatoes were smashed, it was time to season them up. Again, I'm adding a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, and then I'm seasoning them with garlic powder, onion powder, uh, fresh ground black pepper, and a little bit of Lowry seasoning. Before we put our potatoes in the oven, it's time to finish dressing our chicken. So now that the chicken has baked for a little while and that cream cheese is nice and soft, I'm just spreading it out evenly or as evenly as I can across the chicken. And now we're gonna add the rest of the toppings. So I'm starting off with a little bit of white cheddar cheese. The recipe just calls for cheddar. You can use yellow or white. I'm using a little mixture of both. I just like that flavor combination. And then I'm also adding the bacon that we just cooked and cut down to bite-sized pieces. And I'm also then going to top it with a little bit of freshly chopped uh, scallion or green onion. I love green onion. This almost gives me like uh, baked potato vibes, kind of the same seasonings. Go ahead and pop that back into the oven. Now I'm adding both of my Pyrex dishes to the top rack. I want it to get nice and warm and a little bit crispy. And go ahead and put this back in the oven for 15 minutes. I'm also going to add my potatoes in. I'm giving them a quick little spray with a little bit of Pam just to kind of crisp up the top. I didn't want to add a bunch of oil. They already had a little bit, but I wanted to make sure that they would get nice and crispy on the top and I'm putting those into the oven with our chicken. And now it's time to make my absolute favorite ranch dressing. I'm starting off with one tablespoon of ranch seasoning. 
I love this. I use it all the time for cooking. Next up, we're going to add in a third of a cup, I'm sorry, maybe a half a cup of buttermilk. I'll have the recipe for you down below. We're also going to add in one cup of mayonnaise. You could use light mayonnaise if you wanted to, but for this we're using full fat and I'm just eyeballing this into a one cup measuring cup. It's okay if it's not exactly correct. Go ahead and add that into your other ingredients. This is what's going to give your ranch a nice creamy flavor. Next up, we're going to add in some seasonings. So about a teaspoon or so of garlic powder, maybe a half a teaspoon, depending on what you like. Good helping of freshly ground black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper, so I'm putting in a lot. And then we're also adding in just a sprinkle of paprika. Give it a little stir and then I'm going to put the top on this and I'm going to give it a really good shake. Once you have this all shaken up and stirred up, give it a check to make sure that you like the consistency. If you like a little bit of a thinner ranch like I do, just add a little bit more buttermilk and it should be good to go. I'm pouring mine now into a bowl because I just want to make sure that it's all fully combined, kind of whipped together into a creamy deliciousness. So I'm going to use a whisk, a little metal whisk, and give it a last stir before we assemble our salad. My favorite salad at a restaurant is by far just your regular side garden salad with fresh crisp lettuce, really delicious tomatoes, cucumber, a little bit of cheddar cheese, sometimes a little bit of red onion, and delicious crunchy croutons. So that's what we're making tonight. I am actually out of croutons, believe it or not. I typically have them always in my house, however, we love them, so they are gone at the moment, but we're going to be adding some green leaf lettuce, some Roma tomatoes, a little bit of fresh cucumber, some red onion, and then of course our delicious ranch and a little bit of cheddar cheese. So this is my favorite type of garden salad at a restaurant. What's your favorite salad?
Dinner is done. I am only having the chicken and the salad tonight, uh, but my family will enjoy the amazing looking potatoes. Took everything inside of me not to have one um, while I was plating those up. So let me just go ahead and get myself a delicious looking bite of this chicken. Oh my gosh. Yeah, trying to get a little bit of everything in my bite. That's kind of how I like to do it. Still steaming. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. And it's cooked perfectly. That's delicious. I can see why it's called cracked chicken. Let's have a little bite of salad. This dressing is hands down my favorite ever. Tastes like we're at a restaurant. A good one. Okay, my friends, that brings us to the end of another Cook With Me video. I hope that you found some inspiration. I'll have the recipes linked for you down below. The ones that I can, the potatoes, I just kind of winged those myself um, and I did with the salad, but I'll have the recipe for the salad dressing as well as the chicken linked down for you or down in the description box below. So I hope that you are having a fabulous week. I'll see you in the next video and happy eating.